Hey guys, this is Stockfella. This is Drew. Um, just want to do a really quick options chain video for the guys that are having trouble understanding options. I keep it very simple. Uh, this little window that I have up here in the middle of my screen is an options chain. I just detached it from the regular place it shows up and pulled it out here as a separate window. Um, NVIDIA is actually uh, an options straddle, so I bought the call and the put. So I was straddling the price of the stock. So Friday, it had a very narrow range. We were in quad witching. And on a weekly and daily chart, I noticed negative divergence on the MACD for daily and weekly. I apologize, I have some allergies going on. Um, be that as it may, I took an option, uh, 250 call and 250 put. I took two contracts on each side. Um, and I do that because that way I don't have to worry about a stop. I have it on both sides, so whether it goes up or down, I don't care. I just want movement, but my guesstimation was it was going to go down. So I bought the call and the put, the 250 call and put on Friday. Obviously, the prices that are on here now are from today's close, but I got both of them for a little over $4. Um, on this options chain, delta is simple. How far or how much will the option move versus the stock? Well, to keep it the most simplistic, if you're looking right in the middle of the screen where there's a 55 cent delta on the call for the 240, that means when that's when Nvidia moves one point, the option is going to move 55 cents on that dollar or on that point. So you can get half the movement on the option that you would get on the stock. Um, as you can see, the, the the delta gets less as you move farther out of the money. You can see it gets better the deeper in the money you go. I usually try to stay, if I'm playing both sides, usually you're going to be in the 40 or 50 range. Here's the one thing, though. The implied, volatil implied volatility in Delta, if the stock makes a big move, like today with NVIDIA, you can get um, acceleration or exponential increase in implied volatility in Delta. So you can see that the 250 put closed the day at an 80 cent or 80.80 80 Delta whereas the other one still had a point twenty, So it was only dropping 20 cents on the dollar while the other was going 80 cents on the dollar. So my calls were still worth money and my puts were worth about two and a half times as much money when it spiked up near 13. So I netted out uh, about $700 on the trade. So the upper chart is NVIDIA and you can only see the, the daily one hour and five minute. The lower chart, you can see part of the daily part of the 60 minute and part of the five minute of the actual 250 put. You can see where this thing ran up today. I mean, I, I got it here on Friday in the four something. Well, today it ran all the way up to 13. This is the 60 minute. You can compare that to the 60 minute over here and see where it fell. Same thing on the five minute. You can see where the, the option accelerated to the upside. Uh, I killed this thing over here. While this accelerated to the downside. I buy calls and puts. I don't do iron condors or butterflies or anything else. I try to keep it as simple as possible. So you have an options chain in whatever platform you're trading. It may not look exactly like mine. I'll do everything I can to answer questions, but I have two businesses. I trade and I have a real estate investing business. So I'll do everything I can to answer questions, whether that means via email, via text, or in the room if Dan lets me have microphone for a second. Um, then we can go from there. There's some other guys in the room, Kane, Charles, Max, Brad, and others that maybe I don't even know about that trade options that probably know a whole lot more than me. But this is what I use. I use it along with Dan's PS60 theory and the pivots, and it's been working wonderfully. I went from not making money on options to where, you know, I'm, I, I've, I've had a very blessed uh, beginning of the year so far. So I hope this helps, and um, see you guys in the room.